What's up guys? Today we're going to be focusing on my morning routine. What do I do as soon as I get up? The steps that I go through, basically what I do from 8 a.m. to about 10 a.m. The two hours in the morning where I really focus on my training and getting my body just as fit as I can possibly be for upcoming fights. So before we get today's episode completely underway, I want to take a moment and give a shout out to the sponsor of this episode, Buy Optimizers. Now, I was just doing a sparring session yesterday, Monday morning, and I was getting Shark Tank, getting put through the gauntlet. I got to round four and one of the guys went, oh, how are you feeling? You know, Monday morning, sometimes you're really fatigued. And I went, you know what? I've been feeling great. My body is not as run down as it normally is at this point in fight camp. And I went, that's for one or two reasons. Number one, and the alternative I don't like, is you're not training hard enough. But that's usually not an issue with me. So I went, it must be number two. Stuff like by optimizers, magnesium is actually making a difference and helping me recover faster. And I've never had a camp where I've been feeling this good and been training as hard as I'm training. So if you guys want to take a chance and see if this helps you as much as it's helping me, head over to magnesiumbreakthrough.com forward slash Gabriel. Use the promo code Gabriel10 to get yourself 10% off. And I think you guys will just really love this supplement and you will notice a difference in your sleep, but also in your recovery time. Now taking all these supplements and adding in all the new things that I've been doing, the scientific things, is basically biohacking. If you want to learn more about that, my wife got me on to all of this, things like cell trainer, red light therapy. You can head over to the Rachel Varga podcast, listen to her stuff, and you will get lots of insight on everything extra I'm doing outside my regular training, just all the new things that are helping me feel that much better for this camp. So I have two things that I do before I head out. Number one, I take a scoop of peanut butter, just because I usually find that on a full stomach, I don't train well, but with a little bit of food, just, just enough calories to get going, um, that's just ideal for me. So I just take, oh my gosh, that's hard peanut butter. Just pretty much that much. That's all I do, eat that. And then next, I just take about, about that much water, just half a glass filtered water before I head out just because I woke up. Um, obviously, I'm a little bit thirsty, but I don't like to feel really bloated or be running with water sloshing in my stomach. So the peanut butter and that is all I do. And then I'll we'll return to the food, specifically what I like to eat every morning once we get back from the workout. So I usually start with the upper body, just because getting out of bed, I feel like things are a little tight. Stretch out the arms, the neck, the back. Once I feel that's all loosened up enough, I move into some deeper stretches. I take about five minutes here, really trying to get everything loosened up, just to make sure there's no chance of pulling anything or anything popping. I've had some bad injuries in the past and it usually comes when I don't stretch first. From there, I like to move into just simple movements, just like this, to just get the body warmed up and make sure, again, that I'm not going into anything too dynamic early on. Just getting the body slowly, slowly warmed up. In terms of distance and time for the morning workout, it's usually about an hour and 20 minutes max. Once I get that first little stretch done and then the warm up, I go to some deeper stretches, something that I couldn't do without that initial five, 10 minutes of getting the body limbered up. From there, I move into running. And this pace right here is something that I try to maintain for probably about four, five kilometers fairly fast. Uh, I sometimes will mix it up as well. Like I could do this and just call it, but I like to usually add in some sprints at the end, just little hill sprints, fast and dynamic. So I'm making sure that I'm getting my long distance with a steady heart rate, but also very explosive. Or you'll see me here, and I also sometimes do these soccer field sprints, which to me are sort of my go-to for cardio. And you guys can check out a separate video where I break down entirely what you need to know for this sprint routine. Fast, mean, and it'll get you ready pretty much for any fight. 
Once I finish my warm up, my stretch, and my intense run, I move in usually to chin ups to finish off. Chin ups, maybe abs, maybe a push up routine, just banging off some upper body stuff. I don't do a whole lot of heavy lifting, but I do like to make sure I get some body weight exercises in. Things like this are fantastic for abs and you really have to tighten up just like you're about to take impact to the stomach. And when you get to the chin up bar, try to mix up the style of chin ups you're doing so you're not getting bored or repeating the same motion too many times. And now for the end of my exercise routine, I like to make sure I first of all start off with a rolling session. Just get a foam roller, just get the legs, give them a little blast. You can move through the upper body and I also have a video, a full rolling video, which you can check out if you wanna start adding this kind of thing into your routine. It helps a lot. Finally, I finish off with a little foam triangle that I have, which goes under my lower back. I lay down and I work on repositioning my spine and making sure that I'm able to keep a good curve on it because a lot of times people slouch and it can really mess up the curve of your back which will give you back pain. I also work on deep breathing exercises. So what a lot of people want to know on the channel is what do I do in terms of food? What am I putting in my body once I'm done my workout? Now a lot of the things are very simple just like you know some fried eggs, uh, an omelet, something like that. But I wanna get into some of the more special things that I do. And what I like to start with is my protein from Bioptimizers. It's just a great chocolate one. Just throw that in, I get all my protein on top of the omelet. This is very interesting. This is something that I saw Kelly Slater mention and I started doing it years ago. We have coconut water and then you mix in some chia seeds. Chia seeds apparently are fantastic for nutrition. And then I take a bunch of fruit, which is chopped up, and you just throw it in, oh, missing, and you just throw it into your container. Now, the interesting thing about this is you actually have to prep up the night before. And what I mean by that is a chia seed is not is not great when you just have it, maybe if you get it out of the bulk food section, because it's really crunchy and it doesn't taste very good and it's not very nice to eat. But if you put it into some liquid, it actually softens up. So you have to do it the night before, mix it in with all the fruit and you make this fantastic, I don't even know what it is, like almost pudding style coconut water fruit delightfulness. And this is something that I like to come back and throw down right away. And then in addition, for the recovery, like we already talked about, I have the magnesium from Bioptimizers. I pop one or two of these right after the workout and then make sure I take one or two at nighttime right before bed. Right now is about recovery and then before bed is to help me with my sleep and sleep is always about recovery as well. The better I sleep, the more recovered I feel. So that guys is pretty much my morning routine. Now, obviously it switches because I've told you I don't do the same thing every time in terms of workouts and runs and all those different factors. I like to always keep it mixing up because you know the fight is not always the exact same. There's different paces, different styles, and I just like a little bit of a surprise with every workout. But you get the general idea. If you're looking to copy me, kind of take an 8 a.m to 10 a.m. approach on really locking in that workout time. Uh, it doesn't really need to be two hours. It can be shorter than that if you're gonna be really intense with your workout. And everything else that I showed you is just extra little tips which will hopefully help you improve your fight game. Thank you for joining the episode today, guys. Thanks to Bio Optimizers for sponsoring it. Train hard, guys, and I'll see you back here soon for another video.